All right, this is our third part of our series with Dr. Rucker, and we're going to continue this discussion about ozone. So go ahead, Dr. Rucker. Well, I'd like to thank Service Dog for uh, joining us on this video. It's a good reminder that uh, dogs are interesting electron acceptors, just like ozone's an electron donor. That if you actually have a dog and send it outside and it comes back in, it actually is full of positive energy. When you pet it, you get some of that energy. That's actually been proven. But that's not the topic of today's discussion. The two questions that my interviewer asked me to address are, first of all, how many ozone treatments are necessary for a patient to find success? And secondly, when ozone does work, how long do the effects last? Now, the first question in terms of how many treatments does it take, what's important is to discuss which parts of the body can I use ozone as a practitioner. I've treated neck areas, shoulder areas, hip areas, knees, feet. So I can use even uh, into the gum, the jaw, TMJ for migraines. I've used ozone almost everywhere in the body. So. In terms of how many treatments, it varies from individual to individual. I have patients fly in from other parts of the country that came in for two weeks and had ozone every day. Other patients will find that they might need one ozone and it will last indefinitely. So unfortunately, this is the one aspect that's a case-to-case -case basis. Well, we have to let service dog go. He had to do some service and he's also going to drink some ozonated water, which is a phenomenal way to get ozone into the system. So as I was saying, the number of treatments, it really varies per area. Sometimes I can do one treatment and I get healing. Some of my patients have required 10. So it's unfortunately a very uh, patient-driven answer. It depends on the individual. How long does it last? I've had cases where one injection healed a problem that 10 years of searching hasn't helped. And then other cases where the effects seem to last three or four weeks, and then I had to move on to stem cell modalities. So this becomes a difficult thing to answer. Just like, you know, how many times would I have to train for a marathon? It varies from each patient. How often would I have to train? So it, the ozone and medicine and the art of treatment are vague and they're customized to each individual. And that's why you do require a trained practitioner with a discerning eye to provide this kind of therapy.